I know that looks delicious. It's going to taste delicious. Let's do it. A first bite. Big bite! Welcome back, everybody, to an all-new Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. I'm here at Fazoli's. It's been a while. Actually, I've only profiled Fazoli's on the channel one other time. They are back by popular demand, the fast food drive through Italian franchise, once known nationwide, but now, after bankruptcy and reforming, there's only a few stores around the nation, it seems like. But regardless, Fazoli's is still bringing out stuff that's brand new. <laughs> and I'm here checking it out. Two of their new macaroni and cheese, loaded mac and cheese. We're talking about the braised beef and the buffalo chicken. Now, Fazoli's has got these, I believe for a limited time, they're about six to seven doll hairs. The total on this was $16. I got both varieties. They both come with breadsticks. They are here for a limited time. Let's get right to it. The brand new Fazoli's braised beef mac and cheese and brand new buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Let's check it out. They're using the cavatappi, which are those uh, spirally kind of noodles. They are loading on the meat, they are loading on the cheese, and they're putting it in this handy to-go container. Man, these things are freaking hot. Probably a bad idea to do this right out of the drive-through, so fresh, but I know that's what you guys want. Unscripted, unscrupulous, uncircumcised fun. The brand new, oh man, <laughs> there's the beef. Where's the beef? It's right there, grandma. You guys, I'm sorry, it's really, really hot. Hang on. Woo! See, they give you these little paper cardboard cutouts as sort of a filter between the scalding heat of the metal and the tenderness of your epidermis. This is the buffalo chicken, which is supposed to have a mozzarella, cheddar cheese, buffalo chicken, crispy breaded buffalo chicken. Oh my God, shut up, Justin. Take a look. Oh, wow. There's like a creamy ranch sauce on top, which of course would be traditional if you were getting, you know, buffalo chicken tenders, dipping it in the ranch. They've gone a step further and they've topped it on top of these swirly, spirally macaroni and cheese noodles. And wait, there's more. Wow, man. What a pretty looking pasta dish braised beef you can see how fresh man i can see the juices through the reflection on the lens of my cam i know this thing is going to be intense god look at that there are chunks of insanely delicious looking beef oh wow can you see the steam coming off of these noodles I'm sure the beef is going to be hot, like a nice tender pot roast. Oh, look, huge chunks of beef, cheese, so super tender, you guys. It looks so insanely hot. I know that looks delicious. It's going to taste delicious. Let's do it. A first bite. Big bite! almost forgot to chew it was so effortless and quick seemingly i almost seemed like i didn't get enough there it's creamy it's delicious the pasta is al dente the beef is super tender surprisingly i wasn't sure what i was going to be getting here from this fast food italian place mm. a little bit of the buttery breadstick into the cheese sauce. Mm. Salty, buttery, warm. 
Look at the cheese. These cavatappi noodles, the spiral noodles, right? They're kind of long. They're kind of strong. And they're down to get the friction on. Wow. And look how it's kind of baked in this pan, right? I can tell just by the way that the cheese is sort of burnt right onto the edge. You can tell they put it all in a pan, top it with the cheese, top it with the meat, and probably throw it in the oven real quick, bake it up. Here, of course, is I'm sure a fan favorite, the buffalo chicken pasta. Now, between the two, the weight on the chicken felt a little bit bigger. On this one, you are getting a full-sized breaded and fried crispy chicken breast that they're then tossing in like Tabasco hot sauce, buffalo wing sauce. It was like a Parmesan peppercorn ranch, the cheddar cheese, the mozzarella cheese, and of course the breadstick. We're gonna put that to the side and focus on the fowl, the buffalo chicken. It looks like it's nice and sauced up. I can tell a little bit of care and concern was concocted with this chicken recipe. Now this one's gonna taste probably a little bit different, not just with the different protein, but because they've added that ranch and the mozzarella in with the pasta, not just the cheddar. <laughs> I love my job. Let's do it. Oh, I can smell the spiciness from the Tabasco, the creaminess of the cheese. God, a big bite, cheers. Oh yeah, classic buffalo chicken, mac and cheese. <sighs> Making my nose run a little. The chicken is huge. I wasn't sure if I was just gonna be getting like chunks of chicken. This, honest to God, looks like an entire chicken breast. <sighs> so hot. Mm. Wow. It's got a kick to it for sure. I know. These breadsticks are so addictive. You ever just go to Olive Garden and sit and eat all the breadsticks? And by the time food comes out, you're full. Fazoli's really has a great concept. I mean, the food is, I think, a better quality than probably a lot of Italian restaurants already serve. And I'm an authority on that because I've been to a lot of really bad Italian restaurants. Don't get down in the comments below and be like, hey, yo, Justin, go to my Papa Piazza's restaurant. You don't know the Italian food until you check it out. I've been to Papa Piazza's and I'll pee on his pizza any day over this. The Fazoli's pastas are fantastic they're super affordable as well i remember growing up in florida fazoli's were everywhere as a kid i used to eat fazoli's and they've all but since closed up you can find them here in the midwest you can find them probably on the west coast if you like fazoli's down in the comments below let me know what is your favorite thing to get at fazoli's have you tried their new mac and cheese yet i think on a scale of one to ten between the taste the value and the overall appeal of this meal, one is savory, one is spicy. They're both very meaty and they're both affordable. This is definitely gonna get your sinuses going if that's what you're into. The braised beef is really and truly surprisingly fantastic. Surprisingly, look, once again, how tender. It looks just like a beautiful pot roast. If you think I'm lying, I promise you. It's got just that right amount of fat, beef, and it's cooked, slow simmered, you can tell. I would have to give this a nine. It's really up there, man, it is fantastic. Each of these comes with two breadsticks. The main course, it's served very nice, and this is probably something you would pay 12, 13, 14 dollars for in any other mom and pop Italian shop. 
it's time to piss off the Piazza and manhandle Mario and let them know the prices need to come down because places like Fazoli's are on the rise, super popular in the 90s. They closed in the 2000s, and I think they're going to be making a huge resurgence again with prices and tastes like these. The buffalo chicken one on a scale of 1 to 10, this one, again, is still up there. I favored the beef version, just my own particular taste, but the chicken one here is no slouch. This thing is getting about an 8.5. It's really good, you guys. God, I have to say... Fazoli's, I have missed you so much. I'm glad you're here in Colorado. I think maybe we need to do a Olive Garden versus Fazoli's here on the channel real soon. Let me know down in the comments below. Give you a thumbs up if that is a good idea. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button, you guys. We are almost at 25K. I can't even believe it. We got lots of great stuff coming up on the channel. We're ending 2018. It was a great year. 2019 is going to be it's going to be huge. Make sure you set your analog dials and keep them tuned in right here on this channel. But I am going to do it here. A last bite. Big bite of the two. The braised beef, man. This thing has got my heart probably full of cholesterol right now. Let's give it an old TikTok. And we're going to do it. A big bite. As always, thanks again, everybody, for checking out another great review here on Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. You know you love it. You came back for some more of it. I'll be back for another fast food review. Let's do it. Big bite.